Two legal challenges facing Donald Trump are in the spotlight today. While he was in court for his criminal hush money case involving Stormy Daniels, what Tony was just men mentioning, a judge ruled the former president now has 10 days to pay a multi-million dollar bond in a separate civil fraud case involving his company. However, it seems Trump's legal troubles are not swaying voters who are part of his base and are with him all the way. CBS News campaign reporter Torian Small is in Milwaukee. He's been speaking with Wisconsin voters uh, as they cast their ballots early uh, ahead of the state's primaries. So, Torian, I've, I've heard this from conservative voters, people who were not supportive of former President Donald Trump. And since these cases and the amounts they're seeing have come to light, they're saying, I can't wait to vote for him now. Is that what you're hearing? What are people saying about how these legal challenges that keep piling up uh, play into their votes? Sure. And, and Lily, I, I have to start by saying I'm in a church not because yesterday was Palm Sunday, but I'm embedding with faith leaders uh, on the front lines of the get out the vote efforts here in Milwaukee. But uh, to that point of this galvanization of Trump's base based on these uh, legal proceedings, uh, I talked to voters in Waukesha County, just right outside of Milwaukee. It's a bright red county uh, that usually votes overwhelmingly for the Republican uh, candidate for president uh, about whether or not his entanglements with uh, uh, this mounting legal challenges uh, will play a factor in their decision come November. And the resounding answer that I got from them is no. And here's the reason why. I want to toss the sound from uh, Alan Hart, a voter in Waukesha. Take a listen. If you're going to do this to one person, let's do it to another person. So my opinion is that they're going after this man for whatever reason they are, for trumped up charges when they could do the same thing to the other person they're not doing it. Yeah, many Trump voters are expressly dug in support for the former president because uh, they believe what he's been parroting on the campaign trail for quite a bit now, and that's the weaponization of the legal system against conservatives, but mainly himself. And a lot of voters I talk to are definitely believing uh, what he's saying on that. You know, it's interesting. Wisconsin is a state that Donald Trump won by 10,000, 30,000 votes, something like that, in 2016. Then Joe Biden swung it back his direction by 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 votes, something like that. Uh, how important is it going to be in 2024 come November? Yeah, this is a numbers game. Those tight margins are typically the, the tipping point. And Wisconsin was historically known as part of a blue wall. 2016 changed things where it became a purple state. Most statewide races here are usually won within that one or, or below percentage uh, margin. So for Donald Trump especially, he'll have to make the case uh, to rebuild his base here. And for Joe Biden, we've heard from uh, uh, my sources at the, the uh, Democratic Party, state Democratic Party here, that he plans to be out here quite often. Uh, we'll also see quite a bit of his surrogates on the ground really working to rebuild that coalition that saw him to victory in 2020. Toreen, thank you very much.